It was 2010. I was just finishing up the seventh grade. <laughs> I noticed all my friends before school playing these crazy games on their phones. These games are apps. So I wondered, man, I wonder if I can curate one of these apps. And in my mind, if I did, I would become wildly popular and a celebrity to girls I just met. <laughs> So I spent months learning how to create apps. Summer rolled around. I sent my first app in the app, Jack Hoskins. <laughs> I was waiting for my golden ticket onto the app store. A week later, I received an email from Apple. Sorry, we can't approve your app at this time. It has a limited set of functionality and only appeals to a select few. What? I've been rejected? I was so furious, I sent back an email the next week that said, hey, this app appeals to Jack's 100,000 fans and has exclusive photos of him in public. At the time, I barely knew 100 people, and all the photos were selfies I had taken on my computer. Sadly, my first attempt to build a wildly successful app was a failure. I had been rejected, but fortunately, the story doesn't end there. Today, JK2 Designs is a thriving app company, but there were 40 apps and a projected use rate of over 5 million in 2014. So today, let's look at six lessons learned by a teenage entrepreneur. Number one, start with the vision. My vision was me in a cool car when I turned 16. <laughs> I accomplished this goal and lost 15 and a half in bought a Lamborghini. Oh, uh, sorry, wrong slide. <laughs> but it wasn't the goal that inspired me. It was a dramatic change in lifestyle. It was for me going from a bike to a car. For you, it might be that new house to live a healthier life or even just be in better shape. But whatever it may be, it all starts with a vision. Lesson number two, have faith, because you're going to fail. I created around eight apps that did terribly, even received multiple cease and desist letters from, <laughs> from AD, Instagram, and Clash of Clans. But that didn't stop me. I got so desperate to sell an app that I ended up banging on the door of a local five-star restaurant, The Undercurrent. I was 14 at the time, and they paid me a few hundred bucks to create an app. I felt on top of the world, and it inspired me to keep on knocking on doors until they opened. Most people in life aren't given a key to the doors. Others have to create one. And if you create a key that doesn't unlock the door, keep on trying until that door opens up. That's just what successful entrepreneurs do. Lesson number three, focus on your strengths. When I started JK Designs, I would spend hours a day learning to code and build apps. It would take months to build a simple app, then weeks, now it only takes a few days. The more I learned, the more productive and wiser I became. Through constant failure though, I realized that if I focus on a few apps that I know everything about, they'll become wildly successful, like Starbucks and Minecraft. I, I, I got so successful that I had to hire other people to take care of my other apps, but I couldn't find anybody smarter than me to run them. <laughs> so I ended up hiring a team in India. On a side note, when you hire someone in another country, make sure you pay attention to what time zone they were in. <laughs> You might be up all night. But the, but the reason why I did it was is to save time, which is way more valuable than money to me. And when you realize that people have strengths in an area that you have a weakness, and you utilize their strengths in your area of weakness, they'll become more successful than you even imagined. Lesson number four, form your team. It hit me hard one day when my father mentioned taxes. <laughs> I thought people over 18 had to pay taxes. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong, and it ended up costing me a fortune. 
But today I have the right accountant and attorney who saves me a good amount of money. But that's not the main point. I learned that you need to have a team in place for your journey up the mountain. Most people only employ their team when they reach the peak or success. But if you don't start with your team at the bottom of the mountain, how do you expect your team to be there when you reach the peak or even on your descent down? So start with your team at the bottom of the mountain. Lesson number five, keep on learning. I'm the type of kid who uses spark notes on their summer reading. That's cliff notes for those of you who are 35. <laughs> But when it came to reading business books and computer books, I read more in a year than I had in my entire life. I read everything from corporate tax law to computers for dummies. The more I read, the more successful my apps became. But learning doesn't have to be just through books. You can learn by doing anything. Just get out there and knowledge will be knocking on your front door. And if I don't continue to learn, I can't expect my company or my apps to improve either. Most of innovation is critical in today's business climate, and if I don't keep on innovating, I doubt that a graph will keep on going up. Lesson number six, have fun. I love what I do, and I've gotten good at it. Today, too many people go to work and they hate their job. They dread Mondays, and they love Fridays. For me, I love, I love work whenever I get to work. Take away school and I'll be the happiest person in my life. I could spend hours working on that one algorithm, but my peers aren't like that. They're not as passionate as me. So rather find work that you're passionate about that moves you. And, it, and when you do that, it feels natural. It'll feel like you're getting paid to have fun and create stuff that moves you. In reality, all of these principles are learned by teenage entrepreneurs. They'll work for anybody, if you work them, that is. It's not enough to simply know something. You have to apply it and make use of it. And that's why I believe action is so important. And by me being here today, I hope I inspire you to take action, to pursue whatever crazy dreams you may have. You, you never know. You may even find yourself in a Lamborghini one day. 